Hi guys, I'm here today to do my August wrap up. I'm not one of those people who get really sad when like summer ends, but wow, I cannot believe it's September. I'm totally fine with it because it's my favorite month, but still, I have no idea where August went. Alright, so I read seven books this month. Actually, I think it's seven, but I one or two of these might have been finished near the end of July. But we're gonna just we're gonna call it seven. Whatever, it's fine. First one, being the one I'm not sure if I read this month or last month, is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I was like the last person in the world to read this book as per usual, but I really liked it. I haven't seen the film yet, so I'll have to check it out. Um, next was Summer. I don't have it here. So Summer by Edith Wharton, I believe. Ugh. Not, not a fan. Um, I just found the protagonist in the story to be so whiny and obnoxious and stubborn and hard-headed. And then I thought that that's what was going to annoy me the most about it because she, um, she lives with her, her caretaker, a guy who had, um, taken her in. She lives in a small town and, um, she came from this village up on the mountains and the mountain people are considered kind of like wild and uncivilized and um, he sort of adopted her from that village and he lives with her and um, he's a widower and he kind of like, I don't know, like hits on her and she's all like, you know, no, I'm not okay with this and then towards the end of the book she has like an affair with a guy kind of in the middle. And then towards the end of the book, eventually, because he breaks up with her, and I think she's pregnant, yeah, and then she's just, like, in one page, has, like, a 360, and she's just like, yeah, screw it, why not? I'll be with you. And she goes from being, like, stubborn and hard-headed, but at least, like, having a personality, to being just this, like, totally bland character who's just, I couldn't even feel anything for her at that point. I just didn't care. <laughs> So, I totally recommend that one. But it gets better. I read Vile Bodies by Evelyn Waugh. I talked about this in my um, August book haul, so if you want to see more, hear more about it, check that out. Um, I really liked it. It's a satire set in the 1920s, I believe, in London. It's very kind of Oscar Wilde-ish and um, really witty and humorous. I really enjoyed it. Next is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. This is the sweetest book ever. Like I simultaneously while I was reading it was like this is the perfect summer read because it's like light and fluffy and romantic but also well written. And at the same time I was thinking this is exactly the kind of book that I want to curl up in a cozy sweater and read beside a fireplace. Like it's just it's that kind of book. It's the um Cassandra the uh, protagonist in the story is just she's 17 years old and she's um this is her trying her family lives in a castle but it's not as glamorous as it sounds it's old and ramshackled and falling down and they haven't paid rent on it in forever <laughs> and um the uh, owner of the castle dies and then his sons they leave come over from America to take over like his farm that he had or his estate, and um, they meet them because they're the new owners of the castle, and uh, yeah, some romance and shenanigans ensue. Um, I really love their stepmother, Topaz. She's just this, like, kind of flighty, out there, artistic type, and she was just so funny and sweet. And like I said, Cassandra is probably the most charming narrator of any story ever, so I highly recommend picking this one up. Next up, we have Post Office by Charles Bukowski. Um, if you've read any of Bukowski's poetry, this is exactly what I would expect in a novel form for him. It's gritty and kind of depressing, but that's kind of right up my alley, so I really enjoyed it. Next, we have Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. Um, I also talked about this one in my August book haul. Um, loved it. Lots of fun. Total blast. Can't read to wait. wait to read more Pratchett. 
Um, lastly, on audiobook, I read um, Cleaving by Julia Powell, which is the follow-up novel to um, Julie and Julia, which is, was made into a movie where um, she cooks her way through, um, oh, is it Joy of Cooking? The cookbook by Julia Child. And uh, I'm actually loving me some Julia Child, so I had to... I really enjoyed that book. I, it's like my guilty pleasure book, probably like my number one guilty pleasure book. Um, leaving, didn't feel that strongly about it. Um, I did a review of it on Goodreads. If you want to check out my Goodreads, you can add me as a friend. Um, it, this book gets ripped apart a lot because in the first book, it just shocks about how sweet and loving her husband is. And then in this book, it's basically all about the affair she is having on her husband, or behind her husband's back, or, well not behind his back because he's actually aware of it, but um, I didn't really care for that part of the story, like, I think it was really brave of her to write about that, and I don't actually judge her for it, I just wasn't that interested in it, I really didn't care. But um, the other half of the book is where she talks about she gets a job, or an apprenticeship rather, in a artisan um, butcher shop, and I found that really interesting. I'm actually vegetarian for the most part and um I don't really so I don't eat meat at all ever um but I actually really enjoyed it I enjoyed hearing about it um I can appreciate it from like an art standpoint and um that part of the book I really did enjoy it was just the other part of it about her personal life and then at the end of the book basically it turns into eat pray love like <laughs> it just really made no sense because the whole story was about this butcher shop and her affair with this guy named D and then um, she just kind of up and goes on like an around the world traveling trip and I'm I don't care <laughs> it wasn't entertaining but um yeah I don't know I think you like three stars because I really enjoyed the foodie part of it by the way I love like books about food so if you have like any really good food recommendation books please list them down below because I would love to read them because I've had trouble finding really good books about food. Um, and yeah, that's it for my August wrap up. Thanks for watching. Bye.